Soilless farming in simple terms is growing a crop without soil. It is important to note that soilless farming isn't a way to replace soil but rather to complement soil. There are different methods of soilless farming which are hydrophonics, aerophonics, aquaphonics. In today's video, let's meet some of the future minds of soilless farming. Here we have with us first is Hafisa. So I would love to ask you, Hafisa, what inspired you to take up soilless farming? Um, so actually, I had come here with the intention to learn something new. But uh, I think the moment we came here and the way like Sir taught us about all this, like I was, I'm actually an IT student, and but like I don't like sitting in one place. So I wanted to learn something where you know I can go out and do work. So when I came here. Uh, the first seed I actually sowed, the moment it germinated, like Sir said, we have to be like mothers to the plants. Just that feeling of seeing that plant grow and like I had put sowed the seed. So just from there, I think it really inspired me to, you know, like grow more plants. And also uh, globally, the population, if you see, it has been increasing. And because of like less land, uh, a lot of people like to get higher yields of their crops they've been using a lot of insecticides pesticides and a lot of like gmo and everything so because of that a lot of health issues also have been rising in the population so i think uh, hydroponically we can also like save the amount of water we use which is also depleting in the country and uh, we can also like uh, get a much more nutritious uh, crop which is uh, like beneficial as well so yeah I think that's what inspired me to like you know have a uh, nutritious food for the younger generation and our generation as well of course now next we have with us Yash who was in the modeling world and suddenly has decided to come and do soilless farming so what brought about this change uh, actually I always wanted to be a businessman that was my main goal and I have also pursued uh, management marketing uh, so for uh, starting any business as a manufacturer, you should know the science. First is the science to how to create and produce the goods. So that's what uh, feel, I felt that I should learn about it more and more so that I can understand what is the uh, way to proceed, uh, proceed in it. But also I was into modeling so and before that I was into bodybuilding also. So I, I can relate that whatever food we consume, it's our fuel. So whatever we consume, if it is malfunctioned or it is con contaminated, it gets into our body and it will malfunction our system. So uh, understanding this, that how, uh, like whenever I used to watch TV and everything that I am doing diet, I'm not eating any junk food, but I am eating the basic vegetables or chicken for say, it's all are been like a, a chemically fertilized or been uh, like injected something into it so that it gives more yielding and something like that. So it, it also had, I had in my mind that I should do something good for the people also. That I should get into a business that whatever I produce and become a manufacturer tomorrow maybe. Or I pray for, for it. I want to give and deliver people something good that uh, that will be beneficial for their, themselves and their family also. And when you're practicing here, do you use any sort of chemicals? No, no. We don't use any type of chemical. We only use biological bacteria which are... Uh, helping plants there is a lot of uh, if you see the chemical ones are makes uh, farmer life easy so many people go for that and it's much cheaper than the biological uh, microbes but what happens is in in the uh, next in the completely after that whatever the produced goods are it will defect indirectly it will bring the diseases and different types of uh, different types of infection in the human body so whatever you are producing, it's going to be harmful for the humans. So it is better to use the bio-organic way than using the chemical way. So now here we have with us Danish and I'm going to ask him, what is the future of soilless farming? Well, um, the future is really bright and the possibilities are numerous. Uh, the weather conditions are changing. Global warming is a real thing that's happening. And uh, the rain patterns are changing. The temperatures are rising. Uh, the crops which used to grow and give us a certain yield because of the climatic conditions changing they're not able to give us the same anymore 
so using this format using soilless using a closed like a greenhouse or a poly house or a shed net house it gives us somewhat control over such factors that affect our plants so we can get a higher yield more compact more cluster and we can grow them with uh, more safety from the environmental factors and from the pests and insecticides coming to the organic part of it uh, the diseases and the bacteria and the infections the people have been getting from having these chemical insecticides and pesticides are numerous and they are turning into a long term effect into human and is changing our genetics so using this we can use more biological uh, microbes more natural ways of uh, preventing these from happening that saves us from using chemical uh, fertilizers and bac uh, bacteria and pests so that gives us a better health and has a better effect on our uh current generation and the future generations to come and now we have with us shrinivas and now he's going to tell us what message he has for all the people who are going to be taking up soilless farming in the future ma'am this soilless farming is something with related to the science so i sincerely request anyone who is really interested to go into the soilless learn the subject first learn the science because it's nothing like don't go through the videos online it's all fascinating but because until unless you don't know the subject i sincerely request anybody to go through the science learn about it and then go into the land so there you go those were the people who are going to be the future of soilless farming with that it's a wrap on this video do like share and comment and for more information download the freedom app given in the description below